Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Arlington Weekly News. I'm Craig Nolan. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Daniel Pineda. Rich Misabney. And a little break from the heat, eh? Finally cooled off a little bit. I hope you're enjoying the cool weather. And uh, this edition of the show, we have news and community bulletin board. Uh, news for seniors. Rich has reviews. And all that's coming your way on this edition of uh, the Arlington Weekly News somewhere around uh, the latter part of August 2010. Hard to believe summer is flying by. It's fun. And school is just about to start, right? Pretty soon. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Back to school? <laughs> okay. Uh, but before we begin with our news items, uh, Daniel has a reminder. Yes. Don't forget, if you miss our regular scheduled broadcast, the Arlington Weekly News is also available online at arlingtonmedia.org slash arlington-weekly-news. All right. And here we go. Well, we don't know when or where this will take place on Saturday, August 28th, but we're advised that Arlington Police, with the assistance from the County Sheriff's Office and Virginia State Police, will be running a sobriety checkpoint. It's part of a joint effort called Checkpoint Strike Force within the National Enforcement Crackdown on Impaired Driving. Uh, they'll be checking everyone, stopping all vehicles at the checkpoint and asking to see driver's licenses. Uh, if the driver is suspected of operating a vehicle while under the influence of drugs or alcohol, further evaluation will take place. And there's more. Arlington Police also plan to add more DUI saturation patrols over the rest of the summer. There are pretty stiff penalties for driving under the influence, so be forewarned. More information is available uh, on this program online. You can check it out at checkpointstrikeforce.net. Daniel. And Craig, here's some good news from Uncle Sam. Arlington County has been awarded $540,000 through the Department of Housing and Urban Development's Family Reunification Program. The funding is aimed at keeping children from having to go into foster care because of a, fight, a tight housing situation, and it will also help to reunite families which were broken up mainly due to housing problems. The money should allow Arlington to help 50 households beginning this fall. The county's Department of Human Services helped obtain the HUD funding. If you have any questions, the DHS central number is 703-228-1300. All right, elsewhere in our news items, Virginia law requires that all incoming sixth graders must be able to prove that they've had a tetanus diphtheria pertussis or Tdap booster a shot to be able to enter school in, in fall this September. Uh, any child who has had a TD or DTAP vaccine in the past five years will not need the booster. Uh, students who don't meet this requirement by Tuesday, September 7th, will be out of school until they can prove that they've received the uh, vaccination. And in addition, Virginia law requires the State Department of Health to provide parents of new sixth grade girls with information on the human papillomavirus and the HPV vaccine. Information about these and other immunization requirements for a new sixth grade students is available at all school nurse offices or by calling 703-228-1650, 703-228-1650. More information is also available at APSVA.US. Daniel. From 1932 to 1964, before Arlington schools integrated, black students in the county went to junior high and high school at Hoffman Boston High. With integration, of course, that function disappeared. There's still a lot of interest in the activities that took place there while the school was open. And the Central Library's Virginia Room hopes that anyone who went to Hoffman Boston High will donate or loan photos, yearbooks, anything like that, that deals with the school. The manager of the Virginia Room uh, hopes that former students will sit down for interviews as well. They just don't have very much information on hand right now. So if you know where any historical items from Hoffman Boston High School might be, please call Judith Knutson at the Virginia Room, 703-228-5965. All right, also in our news items, local schools have a lot going on in preparation for the upcoming school year. Among other changes, there's a new principal at Oak Ridge Elementary School. It's Dr. Lynn Wright, and Dr. Salah Kalfawi 
has been named Assistant Superintendent of Information Services. Uh, there are many more appointments on the school's website. You can check it out at APSVA.us and then uh, click under the new information link. Yes, Daniel. congratulations. Uh, two weeks ago, we told you about a special gift being made to our firefighters, and we have more details for you now. Go over to Fire Station Number 5 on Sunday, the 29th at 11 a.m. You'll see a ceremony where representatives from New York City will present a place of the World Trade Center buildings to the Arlington County Fire Department. The section of steel from the World Trade Center is a gift from the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. The Fire Department of New York's Fire Family Transport Foundation and the Iron and Steel team to handle the expected crowd. South Haines Street will be closed from South Fern Street to 15th Street for much of the day and parking restrictions will be put in place in the area. Remember that's, a fi that's Fire Station 5, 1750 South Haines Street at 11 a.m. on uh, Sunday, August the 29th. If you need any more information, go to arlingtonva.us. Uh, that sounds like a great event. Uh, yes. Try to make it if you can. Finally, in our news items, not long ago, we told you about the financial crunch uh, our local planetarium is having. As a result of recent fundraiser, they've received donations totaling more than $15,350. Uh, the goal is to uh, try to gain or uh, uh, collect more than $161,000, and that'll be, need to be raised by the end of September. Uh, you'll hear more about this in our interview segment uh, on this week's show. You can still donate to help save the planetarium. Mail a tax-deductible donation payable to Planetarium Fund to Friends of the Planetarium, P.O. Box 7029-7029, Arlington, Virginia, 22207. Uh, there will also be a benefit concert on October 2nd at TJ, Thomas Jefferson Community Center, uh, so save that date. Details on the planetarium and the fundraising efforts are posted online at saveplanetarium.org.